Hey guys, so it's been a quite some time since I vlogged. Last, I, th I think it's probably been almost three weeks. It is the last day of my 38 day cleanse slash meal plan. So you saw the 10 day cleanse, but then I continued it for another 28 days and today is the last day. And in total, I lost a astoundingly and surprising amount of 16.4 pounds. And I'm really proud of myself. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, towards the middle, I was like, I felt like I was kind of slumping, but today's the last day, and coincidentally, I had made reservations at a new restaurant that I'm excited to share with you guys. They just opened in December, and it is a restaurant called Archipelago. It is a Filipino slash Pacific Northwest fusion fine dining restaurant where you essentially pay for the reservation, so it's a little bit different than regular restaurants where you just make a reservation and you go and you pay, you pay ahead of time because they want to downsize the waste that potentially happens when you ever you go to a restaurant like that. It's quite a small restaurant. It fits at most eight people and the whole style is kind of more communal. The menu changes every month, I believe, and there's a story behind every meal. And if you guys don't know what an archipelago is, it is pretty much a series of smaller islands that comprise a larger island set. Uh, so Japan is an archipelago, Indonesia is an archipelago, uh, Hawaii is an archipelago, and so is the Philippines. So I'm gonna head over there. It's 10 to 12 courses, and I also got the added wine drink pairing. That is an extra $50. I'm going with my best friends Crystal, Ruth, Elsie, Jackie, and Jamie. Excited to share with you guys the experience and yeah, I will see you guys there. Okay, so they, I believe, open right at 8.30, so um, it's like a minute to 8.30. So hopefully they're, they're on time because I'm a little cold. <laughs> Here at dinner, we're about to head out now. Bye! Good to see you. Good to see you. Bye, Ruth. Say, say hi. Say hi. Bye. 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 Dinner was so good. I th actually, what my favorite thing was the sinigang. Mine was that dessert with the um, 
What was it? I don't even know what the fruit, the fruit salad, salad, salad was. Salad. That one was I really like the noodles too. Oh, the noodles oh that was, was really good. The part. Oh, I anyways. like the pandesal. The pandesal. <laughs> Oh, so good. If you guys are ever in the Seattle area, uh, Archipelago is located here in around the Columbia City area. I'll leave all their links down below. Go ahead and follow them. Uh, they are a new restaurant here and it's always great to support local and Filipino. I'll see you guys later. My ride is leaving now. Hey guys, just got home from the restaurant. You guys probably saw me debrief with you guys outside of Archipelago, but I thought I would talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one about my experience. Um, I didn't realize that Aaron and Amber are a married couple, and it was really cool seeing how they tag-teamed and were pretty much a two-person uh, team taking care of us throughout the night uh, while Aaron kind of took care of the food portions, cooking and all that stuff. Amber helped with plating and just take care of us throughout the night. One thing that I wanted to make sure that remains special for them is that a lot of the dishes there have a story behind the reasons why the, the dishes are the way they are. Archipelago is a restaurant that highlights a lot of the Pacific Northwest ingredients. A lot of the dishes, they try to put a Pacific North a spin onto that specific dish and a lot of the times um, some of the ingredients that you know are there in kind of like the true Filipino version of it aren't available in the Pacific Northwest so they tried to change uh, the ingredients up that has that same essence of the dish for example one of my favorite dishes of the night was the sinigang dish and as you guys know if you guys don't know actually sinigang is basically a tamarind soup tamarind doesn't grow naturally naturally here in the Pacific Northwest. So they, I believe, got cranberries from the Cascade Mountains to act as that sour agent. Uh, Sinigang is known for it being a sour soup. They did that with a lot of the different dishes. If you guys ever have dietary restrictions like I do, I don't eat red meat, so no lamb or no beef, you can let them know and they'll craft a dish that is able to cater to your dietary restrictions. So for some of them, uh, for example, like the noodle dish, by the way, they gave us a little card as a thank you in a little box pasalubong that had a mamon, which is like a um, pastry dish. They also gave us a little thank you note that had the uh, menu on it. And yeah, so the miki was a noodle dish, and usually it has the bacon langonisa, which I believe had beef in it. And the langonisa that I typically have is pork, but they switched that out, and then I believe they put a crab into it. But yeah, all in all, it was a really great experience. It's really amazing to see this type of fine dining restaurant here in Seattle. I mean, growing up Filipino, I have grown up with a lot of different Filipino food and it's it's really cool that there is representation here in Seattle when it comes to a very refined Restaurant like archipelago as always don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed subscribe to see more Vlogs for me, and I will see you guys in my next video Bye